macOS 15 Sequoia officially came out to the public yesterday, meaning that if you have the supported Mac, you could update and see a ton of all the new features and changes that the software had to offer. If you haven't seen my video of it with over 66 new features and changes, it will be somewhere up here or in the description of this video. But today we're here to talk about something different, which actually has in been in beta alongside macOS 15.0 Sequoia. And that is the first point up update for Sequoia. Going into the system settings right here and then I hate how it doesn't always send. I think I changed some of the settings but it doesn't do that still. So going into general and software update right here you can see there's a new pop-up screen that's going to show up and new software update is available and it's just pulling it over the air and I believe the IPSW file is available as well. So you can see macOS uh, Sequoia 15.1 beta 4 and there's this new banner to allow me to update tonight or update now but if i click on the more info tab right here this beta 4 of sequoia 15.1 comes in for me at 2.8 35 gigs so it's a relatively small update also apple is keeping the release notes here with this update to guide us to give us a glimpse of what's changed and at the same time this is not all that changed in fact i'm updating my iphone to the latest beta of ios 18.1 so this was released i'll just click update now and as it does i actually just realized that whenever i'm downloading like mac os 15.1 beta 4 maybe this was there but i'm realizing it now you can see this icon of sequoia actually changes and it goes into dark mode and at the same time the actual download file size is the same as the update file size at 2.35 gigs so i'm just quickly going to go into the light mode and see if that changes so going into here and then display and then uh light mode so this one actually gets stuck in uh, dark mode or the dark wallpaper so maybe i'll just refresh the settings application and see whether that changes software update and then boom it goes to light mode which is something that's good could have been there but i'm just picky with things like this and at the same time i want to show you other updates that apple released we have vision os 2.1 beta which was released today. We have watchOS 11.1 beta 1. We have tvOS 18.1 beta. I think I just did a video on that a few hours ago. We also have macOS 15.1 beta 4, of course. This is in beta 4 because it's been in beta for some weeks now. We have iPad and iOS 15.1 beta 4. So let me quickly finish my update and then we are going to see some of the changes that this update has to offer. My device has now been updated to the latest macOS 15.1 beta just going into general to quickly show you the new build number that we have right here so give it a moment on the software update page and you can see the new build number 24b5046f we still have a couple of betas to go before we get the official release now let's talk about some of the new features and changes that you are expected to see once you update there's actually a fair bit and the first one you're going to see is a new welcome screen and this this is going to basically tell you about summarizing notification previews and it's the first one that the that is going to pop up after your mac restart you won't have to press any buttons or do anything as the mac goes through the cycles it does when it's installing a new software update you see the pop-up screen that says summarize notification previews and apple intelligence can summarize content in direct messages and groups of notification making them more easier to read and you'll be able to see the apple intelligence animation through the summarizing of notifications and also when you go through the settings from the quick start menu and choose which apps you can summarize or can use summarization you come up to the whole different list that you can do and also you can choose to not summarize notification previews and once you've clicked choose apps the back button or the return is grayed out but something cool is once you click continue the next page is a new welcome to mac screen that has been updated and you can see this one actually doesn't show the user and it gives you the ability to just click continue as the only option right there 
and once you actually click continue on this it sort of glitches and didn't ask me to unlock my mac and at the same time some of my plugin seems to have stopped working with this mac os 15.1 so if you are using applications that you definitely need to work then this might not be the best software update to put your mac on right now as you can see some os's or softwares might not be working another change that's here as well is how the apple intelligence and siri border has been updated so on the previous update this border was more prominent it had like sharper edges but this time around it's been softened and it's not as sharp and at the same time the light blooming seems to be more effective at this point in time and once i updated my device i noticed that there was a glitch where siri or the notification rather the control center was showing the location it would turn on off and on it was like a blinking uh, light for a car so it would turn off and on multiple times like that but now it seems to have stabilized only when i activate the new siri it shows up and then it goes back on and off depending on the use of course and also something that i noticed with this update is that iphone mirroring is actually glitched out so if i bring my iphone mirroring window right here you can see it still has this cool dynamic feel whenever you try to go to the top to close the window so you can see how that looks but if you go to the view tab these window section for um, iphone mirroring are unable to be changed to large to actual size or even small and even when i use the keyboard shortcuts like command plus command negative it doesn't actually change the size so that's an issue at this point in time and quick close buttons and the other menu functions are unavailable so to close it for now i just have to go here and then quit if i try and open it again let's see if they do show up this at this point in time so no they don't show up and if I was to lock my iPhone and then just use my fingerprint to unlock, it still has the same animation 14 Pro. Give it a moment. It's actually glitched. My iPhone is locked right here. Okay, that took long. And now I have the ability to close this. So maybe that's what I needed to do in order to do that. But I'm pretty sure before I could close it or quit the app without having to first initiate the phone. Once you use your keyboard on the mac for iphone there's going to be a pop-up screen right here on the iphone that's going to tell you that hey keyboard was used on mac using iphone mirroring and so maybe if it's not you and you want to know who it is you see a notification and a new animation that comes up to tell you that your keyboard has been accessed on mac the icloud manage tab right here loads much faster and at the same time if you want to manage your storage or see what's using your icloud that is also working and it loads much faster you can see how fast it is before it would just keep loading and loading and then eventually it would have to pull up the notification of the page like this but now it just works from the get-go which is a good fix for the notes application there was a new pop-up screen that told me about what's new in notes and it highlighted audio transcripts which is this feature that you see here so if i press this and you can see it pulls this up and if i start to talk i'm recording a video about mac os 15.1 beta 4 and i want to summarize the main new features and changes so if i pause this audio and and actually click done you can see here it's given me a quick re uh, summary so recording a video about mac 15 <laughs> it just put mac instead of mac os and it put 15.14 i don't think we are there yet so to summarize the new features and changes so it it talked about uh, that news plus screen and at the same time it talked about math notes which has always been existent and the ability to be able to highlight strike through and be able to uh, do different writing tools and collapse different notes which have all been existing which is a splash screen and at the same time another application that got a splash screen uh, is this photos application so if i just drag it here you can see it tells you what's new in photos new collections you can browse your library by now new uh, recent days your favorite groups of people and so on and you have more quick access documents featured photos and clean search and clean up feature which is 
existing already but it's just a new splash screen and at the same time if i click on edit photo right there and then uh go to where it says cleanup this feature has also been improved and for some reason even though i initially downloaded the cleanup feature that you see right here it still has to prepare cleanup i don't understand what's going on okay at least this time around it didn't download and you can see the size and the recommendation it actually now masks the recommendations much better before when i uh, demoed this cleanup feature it was over spraying on this side and some of the lawn was covered and if i was to just select this water bottle for example let's see how good of a job it does pretty good let's try that and see how it cleans up this okay it didn't do a good job right here so let's say i want to clean up these and maybe we'll add the tractor let's see how good of a job it does there okay i need to select this so it's pretty much the same to me doesn't okay that's actually pretty good yeah that's actually pretty good it seems to have improved slightly compared to the previous update that i was on and if i reset everything comes back and it reverts and there's a little pop-up screen to tell you that so it's pretty good that this changes here this is safari and to show you the version that i'm on if we go to about safari you can see the version 18.1 so it's still safari technology that has this version 18.1 with the build 20619.2.3.1 so just minor increments from the previous one on the last three digits right there so nothing major and also i noticed safari safari glitches when i open like different web pages so if i click like for example on ios uh, 18.4 right here you can see dark mode disappears for a few seconds and this is worse if the web page you are trying to access has more information so i don't know why that is the case but i'll report it in the feedback assistant app on my phone and another new thing that this has is the dictation sound that is back so before i was having an issue with dictation which i can easily access by double tapping the function so if i tap it okay maybe it's because i'm recording this video and at the same time the yellow icon would come up so uh, because I'm using my microphone maybe that's why but I was having an issue with that and now the sound is back which is good I just visited the Apple intelligence page and I'm, I was in dark mode I'll go into light mode and go back to dark mode and I'll continue for Canada just to show you this might have changed for your country and region because before it used to just be the us and right here if you go to the apple intelligence supported devices you can see for example uh for canada it's been added that apple intelligence is going to be coming to canadian english supported devices this december but then the us gets it in october which is next month so I think if you are in a different country you might see different phrasing right there and at the same time there's an asterisk right here to tell you of all the supported devices put simply you just need a mac that has an apple silicon m1 chip or newer and you'll be able to get apple intelligence under the battery tab if you go to the uh, low power mode and turn it on so if i put always you can see it turns yellow which just goes to mimic what we have on the other apple devices such as the ipad and ios so that's pretty cool and it's a neat change i usually have mine on never under the apple tv app for apple tv plus it actually logged me out after updating which you know is probably a bug shouldn't be and at the same time i'm happy to let you know that for people that want me to test this out as requested the hdmi pass through for uh, adobe atmos is supported right here and the same also carries over in the apple music as well as quicktime application i tried a bunch of uh, apple intelligence prompts under this settings right here and through siri and unfortunately sometimes it seems to glitch and at the same time it doesn't recognize the device parameters or limitation it has no idea of what mac i'm recording on and what device i'm using which apple had said that it would be able to do so 
just like this page says this is heavily in beta still in messages if you are trying to send a message to yourself just like i'm trying to do right now before i had the ability to actually schedule the message even though it's to myself you know i'm doing testing right that option has now been removed on this update but if you go to a different chart just like i've done right here you can see send later is available and if i click send later there's a the animation for the clock has been improved so if i close this and then click send later right now yeah it's pretty good and the time matches to the exact time that the clock is at so because it's nine you can see it's nine and then a clock right there so if i change this and say like 18 you can see how that is dynamic it's changing in real life if i say zero zero uh zero two you can see zero three zero four zero six and as i type you can see it goes and if i put 12 both arms are at the same land other than that that's about it for me guys when it comes to this mac os sequoia 15.1 beta 4 that i'm currently on it does have a fair bit of changes but at the same time we still have a long way to go when it comes to like apple intelligence and the siri updates like apple mentioned us in october and then the rest of the world like canada december and so on and it's probably gonna still be in beta and at the same time this friday i'll be getting my hands on the iphone 16 pro so if that's something that you want to see and see how it's going to be working with apple intelligence and i'm curious to see how iphone mirroring especially for me is going to work with uh, apple intelligence on the iphone 16 because right now the device that i have paired with my mac is the 14 pro which doesn't have apple intelligence so i want to see how they communicate back and forth and if that's something you want to see hit the like and subscribe and join the family and you won't miss out my name is ben and i'm signing out peace